दिस इज कॉनिक ओ एस सी क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सेवन नाउ लाइक इन दिस क्वेश्चन पेयर ऑफ लाइन्स इज गिवन राइट दिस पेयर ऑफ लाइन्स इज गिवन एंड लाइक एंड पेयर ऑफ पॉइंट्स इज टेकन ऑन दिस पेयर ऑफ लाइन्स दैट इज वन पॉइंट इन ईच लाइन एंड वी आर सपोज टू फाइंड कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ दीज पॉइंट्स एंड लाइक दीज पॉइंट्स आर एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ टू यूनिट्स along the line so basically it is given that distance of first point from second line is 2 units and distance of second point from first line is 2 units right so we have to find the coordinates of these points now see this is question if you try to understand this question it will make sense only when the pair of lines are orthogonal because it's the way it is defined so this is very obvious but you can check also these are two lines slope of this line is um, 4 by 3 The slope of this line is minus three by four, and you can see their product is minus one. So these lines are perpendicular lines, right? Now, the way I'm solving this question is uh, uh, not like the way it is given in module. I just uh, follow a parametric form of uh, uh, a line, the parametric equation of a line, and it makes sense to use parametric form because in this question, distance along a line is involved. Whenever distance along a line is involved. it is advisable to use parametric form of equation of a line so uh, what i'll do i'll first of all solve these two lines and find their point of intersection let's solve them simultaneously to get their point of intersection so like you multiply this with 3 and this with 2 and then subtract like this to get Um, 25y minus 5 equal to zero. Y equals to 1 by 5. We replace y in any of these two equations. So it is 4x equals to minus 5 plus 3 into y. 3 into 1 by 5. So x is uh, it's like minus 22. By 20 equals to minus 11 by 10. So we are able to find the coordinates of this point, say P. So P point is minus 11 by 10, comma 1 by 5. Now once we have this point of intersection of pair of lines, we can write uh, like we can consider both the lines one by one, and then write parametric form of equation of these lines. For example, I write uh, like suppose. This is um, this is A dash line, and this is B B dash. And I I'll say consider A A dash. Right. Parametric form of equation of this line is x equal to uh, x coordinate of point P. This is a fixed line given on A A dash. So we can write parametric form as x equal to x P plus r cos theta r. theta we know slope of a dash is is uh, 4 by 3 and that is tan theta if tan theta is 4 by 3 the right angle triangle you know we can find sin theta as 3 by 5 sorry 4 by 5 sin theta is 4 by 5 and cos theta is 3 by 5 and as tan theta is positive sin and cos will be positive So it is r cos theta, three by five, y equal to y p plus r into four by five, and you can see we'll have to apply plus minus because there are two points at a distance of two units from point p, a and a dash, right? So from fixed point we have two points at a distance of two units, so we need to take plus minus here, or we can we need to replace a positive value of distance and negative value of distance, and now. Using this, we can find the coordinates of a and a dash. Right, replace x p is minus 11 by 10. R plus minus 2 into 3 by 5. Comma y p is 1 by 5 plus minus 2 into 4 by 5. So this way we'll get the coordinates of point a and a dash. 
on simplification it is uh, minus 11 by 10 if you take plus sign it is 6 by 5 multi it is uh, 1 by 10 right so x coordinate is 1 by 10 if I take plus sign and if I uh, take plus sign here it is 1 by 5 plus 8 by 5 so it is 9 by 5 1 by 10 comma 9 by 5 is one of the two points now to find second point I take minus sign here if I take minus sign here it is minus 23 by 10 right and this is if I take minus sign here it is minus 7 by 5 fine now similarly uh, you can the way I have found a and a dash similarly you can find b and b dash so uh, like uh, b and b dash r so uh, it is minus 11 by 10 the only difference is in b and b dash take the slope is 10 theta is minus 3 by 4 so this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 sin theta is going to be positive 3 by 5 and cos theta is will be negative because 10 is negative it means theta is in second quadrant in second quadrant sine is positive cos is negative is 4 by 5 so these are the values you are going to take minus plus 2 into 4 by 5 r cos theta right comma minus uh, sorry 1 by 5 y coordinate of point b plus minus 2 sin theta 3 by 5 on simplification you will get two points right and that will be b and b dash so the mm, simplified value we can find that if i take minus 11 by 10 and i'll take plus sign it is 8 by 5 so it is 5 by 5 it's 1 x coordinate is uh, sorry uh, it is if i multiply by 2 this is this is 16 5 by 10 is, is like half right y coordinate is 1 by 5 uh, I have taken plus sign here so correspondingly I will have to take minus sign here minus 6 by 5 so it is minus 1 half comma minus 1 and for if I take minus sign here then it is minus 27 by 10 and take plus sign here it is 7 by 5 now if you look at the uh, choices so the, the the choices which are matching is like a choice is matching you can check yourself b choices will also match as given in the question but there's a misprinting in b choice instead of minus 7 by 3 it should be minus 7 by 5 then only b choice will match otherwise the answer would, would be only a right so we found a and a dash and b and b dash so according to that we can have four answers but the answers that are matching uh, uh, are A and B but B will only match when you have to do the correction from minus 7 by 3 to minus 7 by 5